It's always exciting to plan a new garden, but there are a few key considerations you want to take into account. One is the region of the country you're in, because clearly that's going to determine which native species you select, and also the cold hardiness that they're going to have to confront. Three other key elements are how much light is your garden going to have, especially to start. Is it full sun? Is it partly shaded by nearby trees? Or perhaps is it fully shaded by an overhead tree? Secondly, the soil type will help determine as well the best range of plants to grow. So in this particular case, we've got a soil, for example, that's a little bit heavy in clay. So that helps determine some of the conditions in which these plants will want to grow. Lastly, you want to determine how much moisture is naturally available. Yes, you may have to supplementally water when you add new plants to the garden to get them established, but in the long term, whether the site is wet, dry, or just consistently moist can make a very big difference on your plant selection. Residential and urban neighborhoods often have an abundance of lawns, probably more than any other element in those areas. Biologically, they're kind of like deserts. They don't offer a lot to birds, pollinators, and other wildlife. In a short time, you can often create a beautiful garden, a year in the making for this one, that goes from that great expanse of lawn to an incredible diversity of plants that pollinators and birds and even mammals have shown up in this one little patch. When looking around your neighborhood or even in the yards next to you, look at what constraints there are, but turn them into opportunities. If you have neighboring trees like this one that provides a lot of shade, you might not be able to make a pollinator garden, but you might be able to turn your yard into more of a forest habitat and provide for many different species of birds or bats. Birds Canada encourages you to plant native species in your garden. Native species are those which are naturally occurring in your region. These plants will be more likely to be suited to the conditions of your area. They're also the species that the wildlife will be most accustomed to for that spot. We also encourage you to avoid planting exotic or invasive plants. For example, in our part of southwestern Ontario, the invasive autumn olive has become highly aggressive and is out-competing native plants. A lot of people have a beautiful garden that they want to start with and get an interest in doing more for the birds and using native plants. It doesn't mean you have to take out all of the non-native plants, especially those that are non-invasive. What you can do is begin to add in over time some native elements. So don't feel you have to take everything out and start from scratch. You can over time add in other elements that gradually increase the benefit for both pollinators and birds and hopefully the diversity of your gardens that you can enjoy.